So let's talk about uh, your new songs. Your okay. new like at, at this yeah at this point like singles, okay, which is dancing on a graveyard. Why graveyard and why <laughs> dancing there? Oh, I don't know if you, you I, wrote this song yourself. I, I wrote this song myself, but also I have a friend coming in to help me with like this song. It was like the hardest song for me to ever write because um, the first idea wasn't this. It, it wasn't this lyric at all, but it's, it was still da- dancing on a graveyard. Okay. But but um, the idea was about like somebody's being happy on somebody else. Unhappiness. Ah, okay. Like somebody else is suffering. Yeah, like like okay. you can see, like dancing on a graveyard is like you're dancing. Like it's an 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 act of being happy and uh-huh. fun, you know. But on a graveyard, and it's like you're stomping on like somebody else's life. In no that way. could sound mean. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's something like that. So okay. So the idea was there at the beginning, but the story wasn't like this. Mm-hmm. And when I showed it to my label, they were like. Ooh, very. Um, you wanna try to like change it up a little bit? Like uh-huh. I was like, okay, cool. Like okay. I agree because uh-huh. it was a little too dark at the yeah. beginning, uh-huh. and then it became like you know a, a dynamic of relationship where someone just takes more than give. Ah, uh, okay. So, so th- that's the initial idea. Yeah. Why you wanna like say this in your it, new it's song? It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so like when people f- super happy and the other person suffering, yeah, and it's like this cannot work. It's like you're giving so, like all your life to that person, but mm. they they just don't know that they're taking and they're not giving back, and uh-huh. it's like. Uh, so it's like they're dancing on your, your life, graveyard. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, okay, <laughs> all right. It's kind of dark. It's dark. Yeah, but it's real. It right? happens because yes. it yeah it mm. happens. All the time, almost in in mm. relationship. Yes. Yeah, but of course not your relationship because no. we all know <laughs> that <laughs> you got good thing and fun thing going on. So mm. we'll be talking about that too. But let's come back uh, for, to, for to song. your yeah, yeah your this, song this too. Is, this is almost like my me practicing how to talk about dancing on a graveyard because. Mm. This is the first interview ever about this song, Ooh, okay. and I still don't know how to describe the song correctly. Mm-hmm. But I think you were doing a great job, okay. like explaining it because okay. yeah, I do get like the like gist the feel- of the song, yeah. like oh okay, so this is like what what is supposed to mean? Okay, so like there's this one um, one lyric that I really love about the song is kissing you is heaven, but loving you is hell. Ooh. So it's like you you can see the dynamic here, right? It's man, that's deep. Yeah, right. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this right. is like my favorite line for the uh, for the song. Yeah. So mm. and and this line you didn't change, but you you had to this, change some other lines. Mm, no, I changed all and let oh, except the, the chorus. This one is the new the new the oh, new version. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. it, I had like five or. Six Six demos of this song. Ah. It's like the hardest song I've ever written in my life, lyrically, musically, everything. It was yeah. so I was so lost on the song. I almost mm-hmm. gave up like finishing the song. I almost like, okay, I don't want to do this song anymore. Let's go do something else. <laughs> But because my label, like Universal, already picked the song for like the comeback, ah. I'm like, okay, they already work on the music video as well. Everything mm-hmm. was like super rushed, and I'm like. What do I do? I want to give up on this song already. I need more time, but yeah. But deadline helped me finish it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deadline. By the end, works. Yeah, by the end, I I really love this song, and I think mm. it's very new for me mm. to to do this type of mm. song. I don't. I yeah. I, I feel like it's a new new color for people to see, and also like the music video is very. Yeah. Ooh, cinematically, mm. like ooh. Yeah. yeah. So we have to give credits to to your label too that, yeah, like that, that they have this vision. Me. Yeah, for yeah this that song. so they bought the idea of the song. Yes. But you still need to like change, change up the story. a little. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. But it turned out great. 
Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Congratulations on that. Yay! Thank you. Yeah, and I hope people like it too. So, I hope so. Yeah, you can stream it now. You can go like watch F on YouTube yeah. and Everywhere. all the platforms. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, dancing on the graveyard should be um, uh, the first thing that we get to hear from this new album. So, what would be the rest of the album uh, that we can expect? <sighs> It's gonna be very dramatic. Ooh. It's gonna be very like I don't know sonically if it's gonna be cohesive or not, mm -hmm. but um, it's gonna be very like like it's gonna play with your emotions in a very like Different dramatic ways. way. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, in your head, a uh, whole album doesn't need to be that cohesive like I mean it doesn't I do need to be I do want it to be cohesive but okay. I feel like because it's an EP ah. I don't think there's enough song for it to make it a little bit like, more round okay but um but I'll try my best <laughs> right now I'm still like not fully finished it okay. so that's why I'm like yeah okay we'll work on it but yeah I, I think it's gonna be a very experimenting um, EP for me just to try out a lot of new things and mm -hmm. I just want it to be it's not gonna be like the same story or anything but there's a, a big theme to it and mm. and once mm -hmm. you listen to it you might get it <laughs> yeah we can't wait we can't yeah. wait yeah so let's talk about writing songs in English mm -hmm. because yes. um, obviously your, your your main audience Are is in Thai Thailand, yes. right but this time around you decided that okay I want to make this like English experience, but of course you have international fans. So, is it this reason for you to like consider making the whole album English, like for your international fans too? To be honest, I feel like I just want to make English okay. music. So it's your way of telling stories, yeah. not like for for whom your. You're giving I, this to. I mean, I do want to communicate a little further because uh. in English it's like an, an international language, right? And people understand. And yeah, I, I want to push it outside, but also it's just me having fun with like all the language that I can can write. Why limit myself in just only Thai songs mm. or why limit myself in only English songs? That's why I'm like, okay, I'm I'll do what mm. I feel it's right for me. Yeah, pushing boundaries a yeah. little too. Okay. And maybe one day I'll write in French. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, we can't wait I mean, for that I, to happen too. I have touched it a little bit on Brassac on the, the yeah. glitter and smoke. Tu sais très bien, ça ne marchera jamais. Je reviendrai, mais ça ne sera pas assez. But that's a little part. But mm -hmm. we'll see in the future. But mm -hmm. right now, I still feel like okay, this is the right feeling just to make English songs again. For you, is it easier or? more difficult to write songs in English? I feel like it's a little bit of the same. Um, it's not easier or or harder, but it's just more of um, what like what zone are you in right now? When I was making my Thai album, I didn't write in English at all because my head was in like, okay, Thai mode. Thai on. mode. Yeah. Ah. And right now I'm in like English mode. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. But do you think it's, uh, do you have to do anything different to write English song for Thai people or? I don't think so. Okay. I, I feel like it depends on like what you try to communicate and mm. you cannot be somebody else anyway. Uh, You're just gonna tell it the way you are. You're still you. Yeah, even in English or Thai. So yeah. the way, even though my English is like not perfect and it still like needs a lot of work and it might be like very straightforward, but it's me and that's, if it's a story, that's the way I'm going to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like that's that's okay. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so of all the songs that you have written, mm -hmm. which one is your like most favorite? Maybe it's more than one. It, ooh, that's a really hard question. It's like picking like which is, which is your favorite child. and. Yes. But mm, I'm going to make you pick. Okay. Anyway. Are you going to make me pick? Yeah. No. Um, you can be like, okay, this song I like because, and the other song I also like okay. best, but for a different reason. I mean, there, like, I always like a little bit of, uh, like, there's like the favorite part in every bit of every song. Mm. Um, like, 
for example, in in my Thai album Your Girl, I really love um I love all, the, all of them. But anyway, um <laughs> like you Pua. I really love the song because I feel like that rhyme that I have in 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 the chorus. I just feel like that rhyme is just like very unexpected. Mm, like mm. and it just it, I don't know. It, yeah. That's the way I like it. And mm-hmm. also like the melody is very and. Thai mm. challenging for every singer to sing that song because uh. it change up or all the time like the mm. the register of the vocal. Yeah. So yeah, so that's like my one of my favorite song as well for glitter and smoke. I would say oh, I would say Brassac. Ah, Brassac. Because there's a little bit of like French in there and also like the the up and key. <laughs> up, up key, <laughs> <laughs> like that jumping, uh, like jumping the key up a little bit, like uh-huh. the, the changing up the keys in the song. Uh-huh. It just make the song a little bit like woo, mm-hmm. goes up a little bit, yeah. yeah. And right now, I would say dancing on a graveyard. <laughs> ah, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Because I worked so hard on it, and to see it become this version, it just from me being stressful for making it happen. Like, okay, it's everything is wrong about the song. To everything is right about the song. Wow! So I'm like, okay, this is like, okay, it has become my favorite. And yeah. seeing the music video, it just, I lo- I just love the song even more. Yeah. 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 I think that's true to a lot of things too. You have to. Kind of like sweat for it, like no pain, no gain thing. Like, yeah, yeah. If you, but that, to be honest, it's so hard. The <laughs> song. I'm. If you ask me, I'm just gonna keep complaining of how hard <laughs> this song was for me. Cause, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Five demos. It doesn't make any sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's paid off. Yeah, five, I'm sure. Five demo version. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So speaking of um, being envy, being envious of yourself for having such a great relationship. <laughs> you know where I'm going, right? Yes, I, okay. I can see where it's going now. Like I can see the door opening up. <laughs> so let's talk about that person of okay. yours. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are interested and people enjoy like seeing, seeing your together, relationship. Yeah, yes. seeing you you guys together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How has it been for you? It's been great so far. I feel like I have. He's he's like my new best friend right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. So and people might say that's the best kind of relationship, like he or she could be your best friend too. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's why it works as well because we're 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 more than just you know um, lover. We're we're like best friend as well, and that friendship just makes everything easier because I feel like. When when you're in like um a loving relationship type like oh come luck fan mm. it just it's easy to to love the other person but when it comes to something like bad habit that they have and you don't like about it mm. it's just it just doesn't help being fan that's mm. why you need to be best friend as well so when your friend does something you don't like you'll be like yeah that's yeah uh. whatever it's oh oh my pangela so that's uh-huh. why we're a little bit more accepting of. Each other because we accept the other person as they are, and mm. because and p u n d u so mm. yeah, it's easier yeah. to accept that. I yeah. guess. So I you don't, don't just expect him to be the best boyfriend, but, but he is. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't c a l that. I don't call it. Yeah, but we get it that uh, he he's your best boyfriend and best friend. So mm. that's what. Makes it work, yeah. and, and besides that, what else do you think um, would help a relationship successful? Honestly, if you ask me, I don't know at all. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, mm, <laughs> mm, but I, but what I can tell, yeah. how I feel in this relationship. Uh. I, I mean, at the end, we don't know if it's gonna last or not. Sure, but I hope it will last really long, though. Um, 
I feel like I feel very secure of myself, and I feel like him loving me as I am makes me like, make it easier for me to love me as I am as well. That's why I get like your girl this album because mm. how come the other person can accept who I am fully more than I can accept myself? Yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm learning to to really love all my bad sides and good sides because you know we cannot change. Everything. I mean, we can change a little bit this mm. and there, but there are things where it is who you are, and if it's negative, then and you cannot change it. You have to learn to live with it and be okay with that part of yourself. And the other person was being okay with that part of me. How come I'm not okay with that part? Mm. So that's why I learned how to really love myself. I really like what you just said because. We see too many times when one person is loving the other person for oh, you know all the words and all like everything yeah. that you're bad at. I still love, but the other person cannot make peace with that themselves. Like yeah. oh, I'm not good enough, and yeah, yeah. Th- th- that could not go too long, I, so long in the relationship, right? Yeah, because if yeah. you don't know, if you don't know how to love yourself correctly, then I mm. think that's like a big issue issue for any relationship. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Ooh, Ooh okay. so cold. <laughs>